Hey guys, it is your girl, Naj. Look, I have this on top of my head right now, but it's all good. Um, I'm going to go on the road real quick. Uh, yeah, I have to pick up my meds. Um, having a little crisis. <laughs> Unfortunately today, it snowed last night and raining, so we have a gloomy day, but I am dressed and I'm layered up, so um, I hope you guys are doing well. I will talk to you in like two, two. Hey everyone, it's your girl. So um, I'm back at the house. Um, it's been a rough morning, a rough start this morning. Um, I woke up in so much pain, like I think because the temperature dropped severely last night. Can you believe it snowed here? We're entering spring and it snowed. I go figure. Um, so right now it's like raining, drizzling, like I don't know if it's wet snow or a mixture of rain and snow, who knows. But as you saw me earlier, I suited up. The discrimination factor that's going on and I'm covered has been an eye-opener of how people are really tripping about this uh, coronavirus thing. Literally, I wish I was filming at the time. It was just way too much. Camera, mask, gloves, just stuff. You know, it's really hard to do stuff in gloves. Like, it's not the easiest thing. Thank God the gloves I had, I was able to use my phone in certain aspects, but not with everything. But, um... People were tripping. People were actually um, either avoiding me, and if they couldn't avoid me, like at, um, I went to a pharmacy to go pick up my prescription, and the lady at the counter was really, really discriminatory. She was wearing gloves, but her whole attitude, energy was so attacking. You know, um, to deal with gloves, you know, is hard. So asking for my ID to pull it out the wallet takes a lot of time when you have gloves on. So taking off the gloves and trying to do certain things and stuff has been, um, was, was difficult. You guys know, if you have your ID in your wallet where that plastic thing is, and then someone asks you to take it out, I have no nails on. That's going to take a while. Be patient. Because you asking for it, right? You need to scan it or whatever. So you have to take that into consideration that, hey, I'm asking for her to do something knowing that I'm not the only one. It happens to many people. The thing just gets sticky, sticky in the wallet. It don't matter. Then I have a good wallet. Hello, Michael Kors. Um, so anyways... Her attitude was so that she's wearing gloves or whatever. I'm full on. I have my glasses on. I have my mask on. I have my gloves on. I have my hoodie on. I have my huge white coat on. My fur white coat on. You know, <laughs> nothing. You can. You're, you're not. I'm not catching. I don't have it. But they, there's this misconception that if you are um, put together in this way. It's this idea that you have it. Go check out Naomi Campbell's video. I loved her video where she suited up for her flight from LA to New York. She recently posted it. Uh, I don't know. I'll put a shot right here or something. Go check it out. Um, and just learning from her, and she's been doing this for years, like years, 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 because she travels a lot. But, um, just to see how people's reaction are and her whole attitude was like I don't care I don't care either because I know what I have and I know my illness and I know my immune system and I don't need to be picking up anything extra on top of what I deal with right um so I'm protecting myself but it's so interesting the way people react to you they don't want to stand too close to you they want to stand far away which is good social distancing is good um but the the looks and these are people working in the pharmacy area looking cray cray and it's just like you're staring at me with this look of side eyes 
And it's like, for what? Come on. You guys, you're in the medical field. Like, you shouldn't be tripping this way. So, um, then I went into the grocery store. And that was hilarious. Because any aisle that I was in, if someone was about to come down, they would turn so quickly around and go to another aisle and wait until I'm finished in that aisle. <laughs> I went over to the produce section. Everyone just scattered. 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 It's better for me, you know. Give me some space so I can see what I need. Don't be coming up all in front of me. <laughs> so that was really cool. Like, they actually scattered and did not want to come near me, didn't want to be around my area. They were just like, I'm going to give her all the space she needs. And I was like, thank you. One lady had to give the thumbs up too because she was wearing her mask. She was full out as well. Another woman of color, she was full out as well. Gloves, mask, and everything. And I was like, I had to give her a thumbs up. I had to be like, yeah, girl, you do your thing. And she was like, yup. Because look, we got to protect. I saw people out with no protection at all, like nothing. You know, and they want to come. One lady, she was really nice. She wasn't afraid to talk to me. And I think she she got it. Like, I don't have it. Obviously, I don't have it. I'm just protecting myself. But there's this misconception, like, if you are suited up this way, you have it. And that's a wrong conception. Like, no, I don't have it. You know, I'm protecting myself. And if you have a low immune system or you have an illness such as me and you're able to catch things easily, you want to protect yourself while you're in public. And so if for anyone that's normal, like you don't have no illness, no sickness, whatever, you don't pick up anything or whatever, then that's fine. But it will still protect yourself in some aspect. Not to be so wide open. And it's damp outside. It's wet and rainy and drizzling outside. So, guys, it was just like, what's going on, right? It was really an eye-opener to see people's reaction um, when they see you coming and watching you while you're in the store. So, they're peeping to see what aisle I'm in and peeping to where I'm going so that they don't they don't come around me. That was hot. That was really, really cool. Anyways, I'm gonna run. I'm going to I want to give you that quick update uh, of my blog. And um, I'm going to do um, some work now and relax a bit and take my meds and let's get this pain under control. I'm gonna do some meditation as well. So um, I may be all cherry cherry, but y'all, I'm trying to hold it together because this pain is killing my ass. All right, I'll talk to you in two twos.